welcome to BT604 Industrial Biotechnology. In today's lecture, we will study about the environmental roles of the microorganism. How can we utilize these microorganisms in order to enhance our environment? So microorganisms are particularly important in water, wastewater treatment, which utilize the metabolic activity of microorganism population capable of degradation. So there are two main objectives. We use microorganisms to destroy all pathogenic microbes present in the sewage, particularly the casual organism of waterborne disease like cholera, dysentery, and typhoid. So, what is the first objective? The first objective is in order to destroy the these microorganisms that are very harmful for the human. So, we use our own designed microorganism in order to destroy the other microorganisms that can produce cholera, dysentery, and typhoid-like diseases. The secondary objective is to break down the organic matter in wastewater. So what are our secondary objective? The secondary objective is in order to uh, destroy the waste material, the organic material that is present in our, in our wastewater and mostly methane and carbon dioxide is produced at the, as an end product, thereby producing a final if, uh, effluent outflow that can be safely discharged into the environment. So if we discharge the carbon dioxide and methane, that is not that much lethal as compared to the other organic waste product that we are discharging. Microbial activity can also be implied in the degradation of man-made xenobiotic compounds. So, what humans are actually producing a lot of artificial synthetic chemicals that are very harmful for the, the earth. So, microbial, uh, microbial activities can and microorganisms can be employed in order to degrade these man-made man xenobiotic compounds. Environmental biological control is a further area where microorganisms are employed in effort to reduce or reliance of systematic chemicals chemical pesticides. Bacteria, fungi, protozoa and virus are cultivated to produce biomass as a cell product for the control of fungal, insect and nematodes pest of agriculture crops. So here what we are doing are that we are using bacteria, fungi or protozoa and so that they can produce a desirable biomass or cell product that can in turn kill the nematode or pest of the agriculture crops so we can get a high yield of agricultural crops at the end, along with some vector of human and animal disease as well.